a guy stopped by and he had just got back from Iraq about two or three weeks ago and he had lost four of his friends in Iraq and he stopped by and asked if he could put four flags on the ground for him. He said he felt like he couldn't do anything for his buddies and he couldn't do anything for their families but he knows where they are. In his heart he's done something for them so it gave him a little bit of closure. I'm a, I'm a pretty emotional fella so that's why I kind of do this and in hopes that you know, people will remember. Everybody gets so complacent with their life, you know, they go out by their, on their daily routines and everything and forget that we've got a conflict going on and we're losing young men. So, you know, this is a way to, to make everybody remember. You know, stop and think. I mean, our president didn't even know how many he had killed in, in the Iraqi war. He does now. <laughs> Count the flags. I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, Bible thumper or whatever you call it. No, I'm, not, I'm, uh, I believe in God and and uh, freedom and and that's that's it. I'm not a, you know, a real religious person. No. I enjoy life to the fullest. I have three young children and and uh, from 14, nine, and seven, and that's my life. You know, that's what I live for and give them a good, good upbringing and. That's all you can ask. That's all I can do. You know, that's my that's my political conviction. That's my right there. That's my boys. It, they, it bothers them when we have to go out and put the flags on it. Like yesterday, we picked up 913 flags are on the front lawn, and the rest of them are, are are out. And about every time we picked one up, it was thank you, thank you, because you're thanking each person. That's there, because it gave us the right to do that. And some days we go, to, I don't have to put anything on the ground. It's, it really sucks, to tell you the truth. That's when it's the hardest, because you realize you're putting a flag in the ground and there's a grieving family somewhere. That's the hardest part.